Hi, my friend, Sam Villa, Redken Global Artistic Ambassador. Today, I want to go back and retouch up on red carpet ways with a Marcel iron. Now, this is our Marcel iron, two-in-one Marcel curling iron. What do I mean by two-in-one? You have a detach button right here. If I push on that button and slide out, now I have a wand. So I'm going to show you two tricks here, working with the spoon or the lip and working with just the wand. So now when you want to slide back in, slide it back in, make sure you're lined up, press your button, slide in, and you're good to go. So we're going to work on the right side. I've pre-done two of them. Let me show you what I mean, what it's going to look like. Okay, very interesting. What we want to create is really a strong wave pattern that has a strong ripple effect to it. Strong ridge, and you're going to see how we do that. So when you comb these out, work with a large comb, the large tooth comb, so you don't stretch your waves out so much. Come through and comb through, and look at the ridge you get and the wave you're getting. Let's go through our next one, comb this one out, and watch how they'll fit right into each other. They just tend to fit right into each other. Okay, now encourage that with my Fashion Work 12. Want to close your eyes, love? Okay, and I just encourage that with my Fashion Work 12. Okay, just working that wave in. Let's move to the top section and show you how we created this. Okay, so we're going to come through, we're going to work with our product of choice, Iron Shape 11. Take a diagonal back section, so we'll do two sections on this top for you. Because we're on the right side of the head, we're going to take our Marcel and we're going to hold this in our right hand. When we're on the right side of the head, take the iron, hold it in your right hand. You're going to over direct forward to the corner of our eye, pinch at the corner of the eye. This is where the ridge is going to start. Iron goes in, pointed down, so the barrel is behind the section. Now look at the wrist. I'm reading my pulse. The pulse needs to be flat, not in a half turn like this, it needs to be flat. So every time I say that word pulse, my hand is flat. So pulse, now simply go time, read your time. So twist so you can see your watch. Once you're here, wrap and slide. So I'm getting two types of wrap. If you look on this side, it's a flat wrap. On this side, it is a twist wrap. So I come through, I just go in, spiral. So it's pulse, time, slide, wrap, and in. Go back to a full pulse position. Pulse, time, slide, wrap. Now one of the things that you have to remember is heat, tension, and cooling. Those are three principles. So right now we have heat working for us. Watch how I'm going to go in and catch this section I have. I come up diagonally up with it. The lip catches it and I turn. Now I'm getting at a point with tension. Next is cooling. Cooling is all about allowing the section to cool. Sometimes we tend to be in a rush that we don't allow things to cool. We start combing them out. Therefore they get too relaxed. So watch what I'm going to do. When I come back up, I'm going to come through and I'm going to catch that section. So I catch it and I bring it back up with gravity. Then what we're going to do is we're going to work with our Fashion Work 12. We're going to come through and we're just going to hit that with a shot of hairspray. Fashion Work 12, a working hairspray that I can comb through. Sometimes I'll layer these waves with triple take 32. So it's just a matter of what you, end result you want. Now watch how this will fit into that last wave that we did. See how they just simply fit in together? That's exactly what we're looking for with these sections in terms of what we're doing. So we want to create a very soft wave effect with that. Let's go in one more time on a section. And remember, your product of choice is your Iron Shape 11. So we're going to take the section, our last section, a diagonal back section. So I start at the bottom, diagonal back, diagonal back, diagonal back. We did four sections working with our Iron Shape 11, making sure that we comb the product through. Wide teeth of the comb, we'll comb that product through. Over directing to the corner of her eye. Now we come through. Pinch at the corner of the eye, that's going to be my first ridge. Iron goes behind. Full pulse, meaning my hand is flat. So the pulse is flat to me. Pinch where you're going to start. Now pulse, twist and wrap spiral. Watch your time and wrap and slide. Here we go again. Look at how close my thumb and index finger are. The farther away they are, when I go to twist, I'm going to get it more flat. I'm not getting that twist I'm looking for. So we want to make sure that we are close with thumb and index finger 
up close to that barrel. Here we go. Flat, twist, so it's pulse, time, slide, wrap. Back to a full pulse position. Pulse, time, slide, wrap. Now catch the ends and rotate back towards the face. This is giving us the tension. Heat, tension, and cooling. Now some of you may be saying, Sam, I've tried your red carpet waves before. They're very difficult to work with. Never fear, Sammy is here. I'm gonna show you on the opposite side how to create a red carpet wave, yet the ridge is softer. So you'll have two ways in which you could do it. Once you've got that and you've got enough heat, bring it back, allow it to collapse out. Now immediately lift it up and defy gravity. Now we come through with our hairspray, our Fashion Work 12, our working hairspray. A little burst of that and compress and pancake. Feel the heat. Allow that to cool. Once it's cool, release, working with a large tooth comb, the wide teeth of the comb, lay it flat in the palm of your hand. Notice that we're combing these out individually, not all at once. So we come through, we comb, and let that ridge sit exactly where you want it so you're getting this whole really soft wave effect, and that's red carpet waves. Now let me show you another way in which to do this. Let's go to the opposite side. Now on the opposite side, we're gonna work without the Marcel, without the spoon. So we're gonna come to the iron. We're gonna go to the detached button. And we're going to actually detach the Marcel handle. So we detach that, okay? Once we have that detached, put this away, okay? Now we're gonna come through and take a section. Now watch the difference. Let's take our first section. Now this is easier because I'm not working with that spoon. Some of us just like to work with a wand. Nothing wrong with that. You determine which technique works best for you, but remember the undulation is gonna be different on both. One is gonna have a stronger crest of a wave and one is gonna be softer. This will be softer. So now we're gonna place the iron horizontally. So even though that is a diagonal back section, we're in horizontally. So we wanna be in horizontally, we come in, and now, once again, thumb and index finger up close to the barrel. I pulse, time, wrap. So you're doing the same thing that we did, but without the Marcel handle, without the spoon. Pulse, time, wrap. Pulse, time, wrap. So remember, you wanna see a spiral wrap and a flat wrap, two types of wrap. The spiral wrap is actually the crest of the wave. The flat wave is the valley of the wave. So allow that to bake. Don't worry about the smoke, that's the product dissipating, okay? Now once we're here, simply drop that section. So I'm gonna come back, drop the section, and allow it to cool. That is critical. So I allow that to cool in my hand. Once I allow that to cool in my hand, I come through and I'm going to work with Fashion Work 12. So I come through with my Fashion Work 12, coming through, just small spritz of that. Now we come through and we pancake. So the idea is this, my friends, if I can find five ways in which to cut a one link bob, we're gonna suggest find five ways. There's danger in that comfort zone. Let's stop doing things the same way and discover doing things another way that we already know how to do. Now you release that. Now watch this one as I comb through that. A little bit more softness to that in terms of the way it looks. Look at the softness. So the ridge is not as pronounced as on the opposite side. Here we go again. Take our last section. Okay. Remember, we're not working with the spoon this time or the blade of the iron. We're working only with the wand, the barrel of the iron. And that's what we've created is we've given you two irons in one. So we come through, combing our iron shape 11 through, reaching for the wand, coming through. I'm on her left side. So now if I'm on her left side, you can put the iron in your left hand. Develop to work with both hands. Now watch how this is gonna give it a little bit more of a different undulation, moving it back and away. Look how this one tilts forward. That's because the iron was in my right hand. This one should tilt back because it's in my left hand. Excuse me, it's in, yeah, the iron is in my left hand. Now the hair is in my right hand. Now watch what we're gonna do. Pulse, time, wrap. Pulse, look how close my thumb and index finger are to the barrel. Pulse, time, wrap. Get that spiral wrap on there. Pulse, time, wrap. Okay, now tension, add some tension to that. 
Now watch the undulation be different in this. So you can take these tricks, start to experiment and discover different ways, different angles in your sectioning and different angles in terms of the way you're holding the iron. The angle is affected whether you hold it in the left hand or the right hand. I would suggest try to develop both hands. Now we come through and I'm going to allow that to collapse into my hand, immediately lifting that up against gravity, coming through with our Fashion Work 12, allowing that to pancake just to feel that heat. Once that feels like it's cooled, now come through release. Remember, work with a large comb, the wide teeth of the comb, fine teeth of the comb are going to give us too much tension. Going to pull that wave out. Place the, the curl, the wave, in the palm of your hand. Comb goes there, now simply comb through. And once you're here, push your wave in so you get that desired wave where you want it to go. Now look at the undulation. Look at this section where I had it in my right hand. And look at this section when I had it in my left hand. So showing you two various ways in which you can work with the wand depending upon the direction you want the hair to move. At SAMV, it's all about discovering things for you, my friends, so that you can help develop yourself and grow behind the chair. Thanks for watching SAMV Education. We will keep bringing it to you.